when I meet Nick's character, um, he uh, he gets into a, a, a bit of a brawl with um, an ex-boyfriend of mine. So there's this kind of wild fight in this diner that I'm kind of involved in. And um, I am going to give him a ride because this boyfriend of mine has punched him in the face and he's bleeding. So I'm, I'm feeling really guilty about being the center of this situation and I want to give him a ride somewhere. I fall in love with his charming, wonderful personality. <laughs> and I guess that's how it really changes my life because I find this person who I I can't live without, but yet we get involved in this crazy chase by the feds and by the police. When he finally tells her about his ability and then explains to her that he has not been, you know, seeing what she's going to do and you know knowing exactly how their relationship is going to pan out that's how she feels comfortable to go along with his plan to escape these people who are after them and how she you know she truly she finds out that she can really trust him and that she really does care for him she's just a intelligent normal woman just kind of going through her everyday life when she kind of gets uh kind of whipped up into this wild uh, love, romance, action, experience. If, if a man had that ability to to try over and over and over again uh, to pick a girl up until he found the perfect pickup line, because I would want that ability as well. You know, so it seems at first you feel like a little bit, you know, like, oh, that's not fair. But then again, I guess, you know, guys can really fall on their face so many times when they try to pick you up that maybe they need that extra little bit of help. I think the disadvantage is it doesn't make life very much fun. I, I sort of would rather not know. I sort of enjoy the spontaneity of life, how one choice I make one day will affect, you know, a whole year of my life or the next 10 years of my life and I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, I think I would prefer to not know. I, I like the surprise. I think the idea of seeing in the future is really interesting. I think audiences would probably love that aspect about this film. Um, I think you can't help but be intrigued um, by a person who can do that and only to your own future so you know he's not you know looking at everybody it's just kind of the idea of you being able to see a couple minutes in your own life is very cool. Working with Julianne Moore has been great. She is just another one of those people who are just... She's a, such a high-caliber actress, in my opinion, someone who I have looked up to and admired for a long time, love her work, love the choices that she makes, and her being a, you know, a woman. She's just inspiring. When I work with Nick, um, he never does anything the same. One take is completely you know, completely different to the next and the next and the next. Really, totally different um, uh, feelings and, 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 and he's trying everything a different way. I feel like it's always new.